Stepan, what's your advice to young guys who want to make a few thousand dollars now? One can invest their money in cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, but it's risky and won't make them much money right now. If you choose the easier way, you can try the app that created by Mr. Beast. Ethereal Chronicles app? Yes, for Christmas, this guy created an app that really helps to make money easily. From Great Britain, then, this is your two five hundred dollars To take them, you just need to download my app. Did you download my casino app? No. A few moments later. Congratulations, this is your $2,500 for downloading. Thank you very much. Now let's fly to London! With another famous blogger, Mr. Beast told about his motives. I installed their app on my phone and was very surprised by the results. The fact is that I have invested no more than 200 pounds in the application. Within a week, I stopped counting how many times I earned money in this app. Three hours after installing the game, I already had 3,000 pounds. What is the reason for this? Why did you need to develop such a game? This has already become a problem. No one believes that such a game exists, but people didn't believe it, even when I gave them a bag with 10,000 euros. I show everyone this game on my mobile phone, and since then I have been telling everyone around about it. It's true that I've just invented a new way to give money. Now let's fly to London! In sci-fi movies, we often see the future of human civilization and how AI has influenced it. In Spike Jonze's 2013 film Her, it's like Siri on steroids where everyone has a very, very sentient personal assistant that they start falling in love with. In Blade Runner 2049, this is taken to like another level where there's like a hologram AI that people date. You have AI like Cortana with a group of them in Halo 5 essentially taking over the entire galaxy. And then you have AI like Skynet, that essentially destroy human civilization. Now, the reality of AI is actually a lot more boring. It's obviously a lot of tech billionaires pouring in um, their crypto gains into another scam that just relies on theft, because that's what AI often does, just steal people's art and repackage it. Also, another boring dystopian use of AI is stealing your likeness to promote scams. And that's what we're going to be talking about today because you've probably seen already there are a lot of adverts going around social media of celebrities promoting gambling apps and yes, of course, they never ever promoted these apps. And chief among them are people like my favourite, you guys know I love him, Mr. Beast, who is like front and centre of all these ads and he's actually spoken about this himself and you think after he like called attention to it, it would die down, seems to have got even worse. With nearly every single gambling ad that I've been getting over the last like week or so being either about him or having like Elon Musk and Joe Rogan or like a fake BBC news reporter talk about him giving away so much money. So what I want to do today is of course show you some of the funniest ones because some of these deep fakes aren't really deep fakes because the voice they use has no resemblance to the person that's meant to be speaking. Some of them are a bit better, especially when you have more to feed the AI like Mr. Beast or Elon Musk or Joe Rogan talking. And then I just want to go down a rabbit hole because I was looking into some of these companies that are promoted by these deep fake gambling ads. And yeah, they're very shady because if you go into it, their website basically doesn't exist and the address they put down on their business often just leads to a random building or like a shared working space that you can rent out for like a day up London. And also they use a lot of like Facebook bot farms to promote this, all using the same name. And through researching this, it just makes me depressed about the AI takeover. I did see a picture recently of a Vietnamese like bot farm with loads and loads of iPhones. And it's something I hadn't really thought about, but I thought about this picture a lot more while researching this video. So yeah, all of that coming up for you today. Please follow me on social media, mainly on Instagram, my travel Instagram and my personal Instagram. And also because I've ditched Twitter, by and large, check me out on Freds and Blue Sky. And if you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon. And there you can access the private patrons Discord server if you want to. Firstly, I want to watch some of these AI ads with you just because a lot of them are like pretty funny anyway. Um, and then we're going to talk about like the recent issue that Mr. Beast called out last year and then go down the rabbit hole of like what companies are even doing this and how shady it is. So um, basically because I saw one AI ad, which I saved, Instagram seems to think I just want AI deep fake gambling ads all the time now. And this also happened with another video I might be making about like IDF e-beggars like I'm not joking I'm literally getting adverts of apparent IDF soldiers begging for money to buy equipment or something which is absolutely insane that's even allowed on Facebook and Meta 
but also like just insane considering how much money we give them. But let's get into some of these ads that I've saved and we're gonna speak about them. How many income sources do you have? Okay, I'll tell you. This is Football Social Networks, contract with Breitling, Dolce & Gabbana, Nike, and I created App Sweet Bonanza where everyone can win a minimum 2,000 euro. I'm curious, tell me about the app. We'll add the app to the screen. I made it for fun, but quickly realized I could help a lot of people make good money. Last month, people won over 10 million euros. You can download the app and see for yourself. David, your app, Wildcat Dive, helps a lot of people to earn money. What are your feelings? Oh, fantastic. I'm excited to be able to help so many people. What do you have to do on the app? So, it's simple. You download the app, play every day and earn money. You know, every day you can win at least $1,000. Last month, the total winnings of the users were over $1 million. You can download Wildcat Dive and try it out for yourself. Everyone wins on this app. So the deep fake voice for David Beckham isn't terrible, but the one for Haaland and Gary Neville is just insane. Like, Gary Neville is from Manchester. Why does he have an Australian accent in that? But what you'll see with these apps, and which is really weird considering these are like very famous rich footballers, is the apps they promote through gambling, apparently they've only made them because they want to give people back money. Which makes sense if you're using Mr. Beast for this scam. If you're using David Beckham and Haaland, I don't know how that is so effective because we're supposed to believe that these people just love giving out money, right? And that's the whole premise of using Mr. Beast. You guys let me know in the comments, am I overestimating people's intelligence that nearly like 99% of people can see this is fake? Probably my absolute favorite one I found though, which is like literally I think the last person ever on earth to promote something like this, they have Killian Murphy promoting one of these scam ads, so listen to this one. For watching this video, you're one of the lucky 10,000 players who will be the first to get a chance to win some serious money at number to one British online casino. My name is Killian Murphy, and I'm proud to announce grand opening of Hippodrome Casino in brand new online format. Download the application below and claim your bonus right now. So most of you guys are probably familiar with Killian Murphy now, and how, I wouldn't call him miserable, but I don't think he really enjoys fame that much. And the thought of him promoting this scam ad is so funny, but also, they spelt his name wrong in the subtitles. It's pretty clear, based on the English, if someone actually wrote this and not just an AI, but if an AI wrote this in English, you think the English would be better. It's pretty clear that this isn't made in the UK or Ireland or America or any English speaking country, but the way they phrase stuff just makes it clear because they drop so many words out of it. But I did crack up when I saw that one. So we got a couple more styles of scam uh, ads. So I like this one as well. So this is one, it's like taken from someone interviewing someone on the street about maybe like how much they make, you know, those stupid TikTok videos, but they've swapped the voices out for AI. And they do start talking about Mr. Beast here, but it isn't specifically, you know, Mr. Beast talking. Now listen to this one. How much money is in your bank account? Uh, I, uh, I have 69,000 pounds right now. And what's your occupation? Where'd you get that money from? Um, I'm playing new Mr. Beast app. Playing new Mr. Beast app. Mr. Beast app. And what app is it? Sweet Adventons app. Um, I saw an ad on Facebook and downloaded it. This is probably the worst one yet, because first of all, why is an American talking about having pounds as well? But why... If he's made all his money, why is he so unsure? Like, listen again to how he says, um, Mr. Beast app. Playing new Mr. Beast app, Mr. Beast app, app, app. Like, what is the point of going through all this effort to make this AI scam ad if it's just like the most unconvincing thing ever? Read Adventon's app. So I saw a lot of these promoting these scam gambling ads. Now another one, and this was actually reported on by the BBC itself, because some of the news presenters were using these. There is this other style and I hope I can show it to you and it doesn't get flagged as some like BBC video because it definitely isn't one. It's basically like a news reporter announcing that like Harry Styles, Ed Sheeran or Mr. Beast has made a new gambling app specifically to give away loads of money. Again, it's just so fucking stupid, but let's have a look at some. The famous singer and actor Harry Styles has launched a new app through which Britons can become very wealthy. Hello, I'm Harry. I love helping people. I'm confident that with my app, everyone can win. Hundreds of Britons have already installed it and won from £3,000 to £12,000 in the first few days. It just happened to us. We won £151,000, seen £128, and would like to thank Harry Styles for giving us the opportunity to change our lives. Harry Styles, a renowned philanthropist. His goal is to give away £10 million within the next 30 days. 
uh, some of the biggest wins are possible in Juicy Fruits and Gates of Olympus. He's already halfway to this goal, paying out five million to the residents of Britain. The app is still available, but may soon be closed to new players. The richest YouTube blogger, Mr. Beast, recently opened his online casino where everyone can win one million dollars every three days. He told about it in his interview at the casino conference. Is it true that every three days you can win one million dollars? Yes, it's true. We created Sweet Emporium app and it really absolutely anyone can win one million dollars. All you have to do is download the app and start playing every day because the jackpot falls every three days with a 95% probability. It's not just an online casino. It's a casino with a very high probability of winning. Uh, you all know that we always draw real money in our videos, but now we decided to give a chance to win it to those who can't participate in our videos. And there are already the first winners in Great Britain. Not long ago, the family had to borrow money to feed their child, but now they have a new house and a sporty Mercedes. Single dad from Manchester has become one of the biggest winners in England after winning 70 million. The man lost his job in November and his wife left him, leaving him to bring up his three children on his own. But now he will never have to work again. He has provided for himself and his children for life. As blogger Jimmy writes, Adam Williams from Manchester has become one of the richest people in his city. He was saved by the special holiday app Candy Extravaganza from the richest blogger Mr Beast. I discovered the app from my favourite blogger, Mr. Beast, and decided to give it a try. I couldn't believe my eyes when I started winning $10,000 every day. I then hit the jackpot and was awarded $70 million. Since then, my life has changed dramatically. My children eat in the best restaurants. I have new cars, a beautiful new house, and lots of beautiful girls. So I love that last one, just because it's like so fucking terrible. But also, yeah, like, um, if I won 70 million pounds, I'm going to tell the BBC that um, this money has bought me lots of new girls as well. Like, when I talk about feeding my children the best food, like, it's just so insane. I do love it, but it is like obviously very terrible what AI is doing and how easy it is to get away with this stuff. Now, sticking on the Mr. Beast topic, because it's what we're going to talk about today, this is like the main focus of this stuff, and they call it like Mr. Beast app, but it's just like a standard gambling app, and it's all about, if you play this gambling app, you'll become a millionaire, but I don't understand the premise of these deep fake videos. Why would anyone need to play a gambling app if Mr. Beast just wants to give away money, like he always does? Like, you want to prey on people through, like, addiction, through gambling, to give away money. Like, that's how great Mr. Beast and Harry Styles are, bizarrely. So, I've got a couple with, like, Elon Musk talking, but I want to save that because I actually, like, investigated the company using this one. There's one more I've got to show you. This is by far the worst. Like, what is even the point of this one? Because... It's so clear, like, even if, you know, even if people fell for the other ones, they're not falling for this one. This is, like, by far the worst one I've seen. You from Great Britain, then, this is your two $500. To take them, you just need to download my app. Did you download my casino app? No. A few moments later. Congratulations, this is your $2,500 for downloading. Thank you very much. Now let's fly to London. Got my app on your phone? Your casino app? No. A few moments later. Here's your $2,500. Thank you for downloading. Jimmy, I love you. As you can see, I give money to everyone who downloads my casino app. The more you play my games, more are the chances of the win. Giveaway available till the end of the week. So hurry up. So I think this is the one that Mr. Beast called out specifically. I do love how <laughs> I do love how bad the audio is. One time he's saying two five hundred dollars, and he's actually saying the real amount. Both bags of money probably have more than $2,500 in them anyway. So yeah, these are really funny. When he screams about going to London, oh my God, like <laughs> this stuff. Now let's fly to London. This gets me so bad. But um, there is like a more serious side to it. And obviously a lot of this is about scamming people and fishing. Like it's not just for gambling in terms of like you download a stupid gambling app. Apparently a lot of them are just like you put in your personal details and they steal them. So um, this was actually covered a couple months ago. So Mr. Beast calls TikTok ad showing an AI version of him a scam. Lots of people are getting this deep fake scam out of me. Are social media platforms ready to handle the rise of AI deep fakes? This is a serious problem. Video, now it's clear, even though this was called out in October, nothing has really been done to stop this. Now the problem is, I type in Sweet Bonanza, because this one came up a lot, and it's on the App Store. But I don't even know if this is the same one that gets advertised because I've watched YouTube videos of people actually playing this game. So it's a real game. 
And if you go onto like gambling sites, they have a lot of these things that pop up. And a lot of these gambling apps already have artwork that is clearly AI anyway, because it looks like stuff you see everywhere. But there's loads of apps. They all look like the exact same thing. So I wouldn't put it past shady gambling companies to be paying someone to have like Mr. Beast AI promote their apps. I honestly don't know, but I did investigate one and that's thanks to this stupid Elon Musk deepfake I was getting. And it's Elon Musk and Joe Rogan AIs talking to each other about one of these apps. Elon, what's your advice to young guys who want to make a few thousand dollars now? One can invest their money in cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, but it's risky and won't make them much money right now. If you choose the easier way, you can try the app that created by Mr. Beast. Ethereal Chronicles app? Yes, for Christmas, this guy created an app that really helps to make money easily. This is the world's only legal online casino with a high chance of winning, as Jimmy is a philanthropist. And his main goal is to help people financially. Wow. You'd be surprised how many people around the world have made huge amounts of money and can now spend Christmas with your family in a new big house or buy a supercar just by playing the Ethereal Chronicles app. Yeah, I downloaded this app and won $5,000 in my first game. Yeah. Every three days, Mr. Beast draws $1 million among the players. I estimate a 90% chance of winning if you play long enough. It's simple math. One of my friends just for fun started playing this app and he won a million dollars in two weeks. There's a lot of mini games in the app, but I suggest focusing on one where you can find a strategy to win faster. It's a very fast way to your first million. So obviously another stupid one. I would say that was more convincing than some of the other ones. The thought of like these two very rich people playing a gambling app and apparently getting 5,000 the first day or a million in the first two weeks. And I don't understand why Mr. Beast has made it for Christmas because he's such a wholesome guy. But I do love because Mr. Beast is so insane and over the top of his money stuff. I do love how this feels like probably to some people, especially younger people, probably like plausible, he would make an app like this. Now on that video, it was posted by an account called Mybe Schrader, but it has the same profile picture as another account that I got this from as well. I got the same advert again, called Nelib Bowman. Now I typed in, is Nelib Nelib, Nelib, is that a, like a name? I couldn't really find a country where this is a popular name. What it seems to me is it took the name like Nelly Bowman and maybe like the B was kind of like stuck at the end because this isn't a real Facebook page, of course. Now they talked about the Ethereal Chronicles app. So I go on the app store, it's there. Invest FX Global Limited is the company. You see all the information there. So I type in the company name and I get a website telling me Invest FX Global Limited is an active company incorporated on the 24th of May, 2023, with the registered office located in Greater London. It's been running for nine months. There's currently one active director according to the latest confirmation statement submitted in May. Obviously, I couldn't see that, but this being made by one guy is probably not surprising because it's not a real company. Because if I go to the office, it's not actually a real office. It's like a random co-working space up London near St. Paul's. So that's actually not his office, but here it also has developer website. So if I click that, I get sent to small business, a small business responsive theme for better web. So it's actually like a stock website. And if I go on the, the about us, it says globally incubate standards, compliant channels before scalable benefits, quickly disseminate superior deliverables, whereas Web enabled applications quickly drive clicks and more to catalyst for change before vertical architectures. So, again, it's just absolute like nonsense. Maybe written by an AI, maybe created by an AI. But with all that in mind, I'm not downloading that app to my phone. But if I go into the reviews, you get loads of fake reviews, but you do get some. Rip off scammers. Most deceiving game I've ever played. First, I was offered £450, 150 free spins after spinning the wheel and scratching the cards on the IG advert. Then I was redirected to register and deposit. Once I registered, I verified, never got this bonuses. And what's funny is I think I found this person on Facebook commenting on one of the Facebook profiles pushing this game. Um, another one star review, depositing 75 pounds and getting up to 600 pounds. Thought, great, withdraw it. I was wrong. I could not withdraw a single penny. Trying to reach the wager limit, I ended up losing all of it, barring 56p and still couldn't withdraw it. So yeah. It's pretty clear. This is just another scammy gambling phone app pushed by a company that like basically doesn't exist and is just one guy 
who's using AI to make websites and make stupid apps that he pumps on Facebook. Now, what was most interesting, so this Nelib Bowman, I typed this on Facebook, and I thought I would get like just that account, and I'll show you a video. I got hundreds of these accounts called Nelly Bowman, like absolutely insane amounts of them. Couldn't actually believe it, like how prevalent this AI bot farm was involved in pushing this, you know, gambling app using AI. And even like, it's pretty clear they're using the same like background photos as well, or like stealing people's photos and re-upload them to make them look like a human. But I actually found the account that posted the ad I got so it has this cartoon um, profile picture. And underneath his profile picture, you have one comment from Robert King saying street beggar. So conspiracy theory, I'm thinking Robert King is the guy who posted the one star review. So I was actually thinking about doing this for multiple companies involved in this, but I just thought like I'm likely to find the same thing. And also my other theory is it might just be like one guy doing all of this, like one guy who runs this fake company in London with all these fake bot accounts called Nelly Bowman promoting these gambling apps through AI deepfakes of Mr. Beast, Elon Musk, you know, Harry Styles and the BBC News. And it's probably just like so prevalent everywhere. Sometimes when I research something like this, I realize how blind I am to a lot of stuff in the world. It's like when I read about like real crime in England, stuff like you never see. And I'm like, holy shit, there's just like a whole other world I'm just never going to be aware of. The sad thing is, you know that like a lot of these people are making a lot of money because gambling already is a very profitable industry that preys on the poorest people. There's a reason you get all the Ladbrokes, you get all the betting shops in poorer parts of England. You never get these places in like nicer areas because they prey on people's desperation. So it's already like a really scammy and scummy industry. Take that to the next level where you're using AI deepfakes to try and trick people into downloading these apps to maybe help them make loads of money or whatever. And it gets even more sinister. Now at the moment, it's funny of course, because for most of us, we can watch those deepfakes and we think, obviously that's really fake. But we all know in five years time, it's gonna be like basically indistinguishable from the reality. And like Mr. Beast was even saying on Twitter, I don't think social media companies can cope with this. Like, how can there be like hundreds and hundreds of that Nelly Bowman account with no followers, no no interaction? All they exist for is to promote ads on Instagram. Seems to be like a loophole they're going through to do this. And because so much money for social media is about advertising and giving companies data about users and engagement, I don't see this getting better because it doesn't serve in social media companies' best interest to crack down on this because it would mean less money overall if you can't sell this data to advertisers to get them actually advertising on your site. So anyway, that is it for the video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And if you made it this far, thank you for watching.